ADK, this is Car Stars and everything in between. He's the star, Richard Bazzi from Schultz Ford at SchultzFord.com. I am Bubba from 100.7 Star, and our star that is joining us today, Pittsburgh Roots, and just an amazing journey that we're going to follow through. Jamie DeRoy, welcome to Car Stars and everything in between. Well, thank you for having me. This is awesome. I'm very excited. Thank you. Jamie. I, I would like to like ignore all the standard protocols of an interview and really just have a conversation and, and ask you because you've achieved so much in your life that I'd really like to uh, like you to share. I'd like I'd really like to understand for those that might be listening, what drove you to where you are? Where did it begin? And tell us about the, the ride along the way. Well, I think it began in Pittsburgh at, at little, little theater companies and stuff. And I just remember br being kind of young. And my, I remember my uh, aunt had given me a little, what they called a penwas set, little pink. Uh, it was like a robe, except it didn't have sleeves and it was fancy and went over a nightgown. <clears throat> Too fancy for a little girl. But my mother, I sewed like some sequins and stuff on the top because I got into, I, I might have gotten into a little play, The Princess and the Pea, and I played the princess. So she made the costume out of my nightgown wow. and out of my little penwas set. And I mean, I don't know. I think that got me started. I mean, I just, whatever, all the little theater companies that I worked with there, and it just was kind of in my blood. And somehow my father um through through jimmy winnaker who was a pittsburgher um jimmy winnaker was helping his brother's friend harold prince raise some money for his first broadway musical which was the pajama game and so jimmy asked a lot of his friends if they'd each put in a thousand dollars into this broadway show and my father was one of them and I mean, I can't believe how lucky my dad was. And it was a huge hit. Then the next year, they did Damn Yankees. And again, a huge hit. I mean, it's hard to do repeat that right now. <laughs> well, it is. And especially from the city of Pittsburgh. Um, and I know we have a lot of homegrown talent in this industry, but it's it's not very conducive uh, to, to grow up in Pittsburgh and, and achieve your success. It, it's hard to do that in these in, environments. Um, so were you... Well, I think maybe it's a little easier now. I can't, th there's, a, there's lots of theaters in Pittsburgh to get, you know, some experience and then, you know, yeah. come to New York and try your, your luck at, at, at the big time. Um, I mean, I remember we had like what the Pittsburgh Playhouse. There, there weren't that many places there then, um, but whatever opportunity I could get, I I took. What was your What is your most gratifying experience from all of it, from beginning to end? Oh boy, I I that's like choosing your child. You know, your favorite child. I I don't know. There's been there's been so many because. You know, I've had incredible experiences performing in theater, performing in cabarets and nightclubs and, you know, being a co-producer on, you know, some a bunch of really amazing uh, Broadway and off-Broadway productions that, you know, I, I never would take full credit for because I just come on as a co-producer um, but to be along for the ride on some of these things like network with Brian Cranston or the ferryman with, I, I, I mean, a cast to die for, um, even, even the first, the first show that I did from London, which was, um, the Norman conquest, which won me my first Tony award, which by um, the way, you, you've won 10 Tony awards, which is amazing. 10. I think it's important to note that. Thank you. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Well, it's unbelievable. It's been exciting, I have to say. What, and, me, uh, Jamie, as a fellow Taylor Alderdice graduate, what do you think is in the water at Alderdice? Because there's obviously you, Jamie DeRoy, who has 10 uh, Tony Awards. 
You've got you've got people like Billy Porter who graduated from Taylor Alderdice High School. You've got Jeb Goldblum who graduated from Taylor Alderdice High School. You got Antoine Fuqua who graduated from Taylor Alderdice High School. That's just the beginning. That's just a few names. What do you think it was about Alderdice that has created so many people that have been so big within that industry? Boy, that that's that's a tough one. I mean, you know, uh, some like Billy Porter went on to Carnegie. Well, maybe when he went, it was Carnegie Mellon. Now it's Carnegie Mellon. When I went, it was Carnegie Tech. Um, I mean, Jeff Goldblum is is such a major talent. And I don't I don't know what the answer is at all, because, you know, when I was young, I was like, why can't we move to New York? (laughs) Yeah, yeah I, I graduated from high school with Billy Porter and we're still friends to this day. Oh, and, cool. uh, and, and it just we, we've talked about it in the past. It's just unbelievable. And I just named three or four. But the, the list of people that have come out of Alder Dice that have done amazing things in show business is kind of stunning when you think about an inner city school that has produced that much talent. I, I agree. And, um, you know, we didn't it's not like we had this big drama department at right. at. at- Taylor Alderdice. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I mean, I think I remember more things in grade school, you know, from Linden than I do theater wise at, at, at Alderdice. That's awesome. That's very, very interesting. Um, are you currently working on anything? Oh boy. Yes. <laughs> 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 yes. But I mean, it's been it's been a very busy year. I, I'm involved with the piano lesson and death of a salesman, and Leopold Stott, um, Ohio State Murders starring uh, Audra McDonald. Now Ohio State Murders is wrapping up next Sunday. So is the uh, death of a salesman piano lesson wraps up at the end of the month. Now all these were limited runs to begin with, um, and Mike Birbiglia. He has a new show called The Old Man in the Pool. He, so he wraps up on Sunday because he's at Lincoln Center. And they have Camelot coming into Lincoln Center. So it's not even like they extended two weeks. That's it. We can't extend anymore. Um, but yeah, it's been really, really busy. And I'm working on some things for the spring, which are Life of Pi and Goodnight Oscar in New York, New York. Um, and then just recently got involved with the transfer of parade from New York city center. And because I was involved with the play that goes wrong, which originated in London, but has been playing off Broadway here since it's Broadway run. Now I'm going to be involved with Peter Pan goes wrong, which is the same company of the mischief theater company. Um, They're a British troupe that is just brilliantly funny so it's it's just been really, really, really busy. Um, now, are you acting in the producer role or as talent? A co-producer, yeah, and and yeah, not as not I'm not physically in any of these productions. That's unbelievable. So if you're just tuning in, this is Car Stars and everything in between. Today we are interviewing Jamie DeRoy, a ten-time. Tony Award winner. And when we come back, I want to talk about you have a local Pittsburgh foundation uh, that would that that has existed for quite some time. So when we come back with car stars and everything in between more with Jamie DeRoy and we'll find out about her foundation and more coming up next on 100.1 FM AM 1020 KDKA. Perfect. All right. Let me save the great training, Jamie. Really? My only experience with Broadway is um, Rip Taylor in Oh my God, Sugar Babies. Too funny. You, you knew which, Rip. Which foundation are, are you referring to? Let me see. It was in the. It was in our notes. Let me see here. And by one second. Okay. I was referring to. The Irving and Aaron DeRoy Gruber Foundation. Yeah. Okay. Aaron now. Yeah. My mom, my mom and dad. Okay. I just want to make sure. Yep. 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 Absolutely. But we can talk about any that you want. I'm just going to wait for this to save and we'll get right back at it. Hang on one second. 
Stand by. So one more nine-minute segment. By the way, if you're watching on StreamYard, thank you so much for watching us. That's awesome. All right. Stand by. And here we go. <clears throat> 100.1 FM, AM 1020, KDKA. This is Car Stars and Everything in Between. He's the star, Richard Bazzi from Schultz Ford, SchultzFord.com. I'm Bubba from 100.7 Star. And, and boy, do we have a real star joining with us, uh, joining us today. Jamie DeRoy, a 10-time Tony Award winner, American producer of Broadway plays, cabaret, stage, film, and TV. It's just unbelievable. And a fellow Taylor Autodice High School graduate that uh, we were just talking about earlier. Uh, and we were talking about uh, the foundation, uh, which is a Pittsburgh-based foundation called the Irving and Aaron DeRoy Gruber Foundation that you established in 2000. Uh, could you tell everybody listening what that's all about? Well, my mother, Aaron L. DeRoy Gruber, was an artist. Uh, if you've ever driven by Frick Park and you're like, coming up Penn Avenue and go on Fifth Avenue or vice versa, you will see this huge, gorgeous uh, steel sculpture. It's called Cityscape. Yes, I've seen it. It's owned by the city of Pittsburgh. And for years, it was in the city county building. And then uh, it was uh, repaired and moved to that spot. And it's a much better spot than it ever had. And it's just so beautiful. But she... You know, she died a while ago, and uh, and then a f few years after, followed by my father, and they left behind this foundation that um, it gives money away to artists that are starting their careers, and it also houses her um, her art, um, wow. which is pretty vast. So, uh, you know, that the art goes sometimes to various museums or galleries or or whatever to be either to be displayed or 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 whatnot and it's it's nice to you know that it carries on her memory i think i think it's great and i know exactly uh the sculpture you're referring to because i'm born and raised in greenfield squirrel hill so i've driven past it many many times i grew up in squirrel hill too <laughs> Richard grew, up, I mean, Richard grew up in Munhall, which is right across the Homestead uh, Grace Bridge. So we're all from the same basic area. How funny. No, you're, no Munhall was better. Um, <laughs> Jamie, how would somebody become involved? How would somebody be an investor in one of your plays? How would that happen? Uh, well, uh, if they wanted to invest, they could probably just email me at jamiederoy at AOL.com and say, I'm interested um, it, you know, my investors vary. They come from all walks of life. You have to be able to afford to lose whatever you put in, because when you write the check, hopefully you're going to, you know, get it all back and you're going to make some money, but, uh, you can't, you can't do this. Like this is going to put your child through college right, because right. You, it's not, it's not a dependable investment. I mean, I don't know exactly what is anymore, but it's a fun investment. I will say that. Um, I've never had fun losing money in the stock stock market, <laughs> but I've had fun with the money I've made in the stock market. Um, right. So it's, it's just, it's a, it's a fun way to, you know, if you have some, some extra money to, to, to play with it. Um, you know, when my dad started, I'm sure that a thousand dollars in his day in 1954, 1955, you know, was relatively, it, we look at it, it's like nothing, but in those days it was something. It so was. of course today it's, it's more money to enter into a, a, a production. But I mean, I got into it totally by accident. I just was sent to see a, a play that was brought over for one night. Um, at Alice Jolly Hall called The Complete Works of William Shakespeare Abridged, done by these three guys that comprised of the uh, the Reduced Shakespeare Company. And they took all the Shakespeare plays and they just squished them all up and covered every play, but in a really funny way. And w Jeffrey Richards, who was a press agent then, called me the next day. How did I like it? I said, I loved it. It was hysterical and clever and smart and... He said, how would you like to produce it? I was like, huh? 
I've never <laughs> done that. I really, I never had done anything like that. And I said, well, what does that take? He said, raising money. I said, Jeffrey, I have never raised money in my life. And I was married at the time. And my husband said, well, why don't you try? So I tried and I, and I was, you know, I, I, I was, I pulled it off. And then I, I didn't do it for a while because I was pretty busy. That was like 95. I mean, we opened early 95. And I didn't do it again for a while because I was really busy with the, my variety show, Jamie DeRoy and Friends. And so it, it took me a while to get back on the boards. And I came back on the boards with, um, uh, it was Frank Gorshin in Say Goodnight, Gracie, and then Cheetah Rivera in... Uh, the dancer's life. And then it just, it just started snowballing. Did you, and I know this is so hard for you and I know you have so many children and there's got to be one though, that is so near and dear to your heart that you embraced and just watched it grow and flourish. And you really love, it just stands out a little bit more. Wow. Well, I don't know. Gentleman's Guide to Love and Mur Murder uh, might have been one only because I knew one of the creators from Cabaret, uh, Stephen Lutvac. He, I used to produce the Mac Abscap Songwriter Showcase. And before that, it was just, you know, the, the, the Mac Showcase. And I would get songwriters to present their songs. And Stephen was always really talented. He wrote a really funny song called Bagel Makers to the Stars. It was <laughs> really clever. That's brilliant. And, uh, you know, it was, it, was all, it, it started with bagels and it, it, it went into Bialis. That's awesome. <laughs> but um, I, I guess, you know, I sort of, you know, kept hearing about that and watching it from, you know, its, its early roots. So that might have been one. And, and I tell you, I fell in love with the cast. Jefferson Mays is incredible and Bryce Pinkham were the two big stars of it and I'm still friendly you know with them to to this day so but but again so many of these productions are just there there's always something about them that's really 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 special even even if they don't make it there's always right. something special and I don't think I've regretted one production I've ever wow. done wow that is that is really an amazing thing to say now, were you concerned about the future of theater through this COVID closure? Well, I wish it would go away because it is making it harder. And, it and you know, still we have to be extremely careful. Um, last night, I was at a benefit where they honored Samuel L. Jackson and LaTanya Richardson Jackson, his wife. Now, La, uh, LaTanya directed the piano lesson. She also ha was in... To Kill a Mockingbird on Broadway, wow. and which I was involved with. But Samuel came in, had pictures taken. He saw all the people. He has to go do a movie for a few days and come back to the show. He was scared. He he said, I got to go home. I can't afford to get sick. Unbelievable. Isn't you know, that something? It, 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 so, so in other words, it has really changed things forever in one way or another. Absolutely. Uh, you, you know, James, Richard, we always say this. We always... Whenever we have amazing guests, we always say that we run out of time before we get through. We have, can we, Jamie, can we bring you back at a, at a future date to be on Car Stars and everything in between? Because I feel like we just scratched the surface. Right? I would absolutely love it. <laughs> I am not even close to done. I know. Let's do it again. Uh, Jamie DeRoy, uh, welcome and thank you for being on Car Stars and everything in between on 100.1 FM, AM 1020 KDKA. Thank you.